Why does anybody in the City of Toronto need to have a handgun? I don't think they do, and if this is one more way of getting those handguns out of our city, uh, then I'm in favour of doing it. Well, with that comment, Toronto Mayor John Tory makes clear his view on private gun ownership. He's not a fan, especially not inside the City of Toronto limits. So the gun buyback program is back. The money is up. It's going to be $350 for a handgun, $200 for a long gun. But what will they get back from that? Back in 2008, they collected 2,000 guns, about 500 of them handguns, but admittedly, most of them were just surplus guns hanging around the homes. One of the criticisms of this program is it's not anonymous, so it's unlikely that criminals would be willing to hand in their guns lest they face prosecution. Inspector Chris Boddy says, yeah, if you hand in a crime gun and expect to be paid, that gun will be investigated gun buyback program with limited immunity so your the immunity is to the possession of the firearm if we find that the firearm has been used in a criminal offense or we suspect it has we will uh, do some further investigation the criminal to be able to just anonymously turn in their firearm which is a key piece of evidence for the police to destroy and then the police turn around and give that criminal a financial compensation so I, we would be under great criticism if we undertook that kind of approach. The city's not saying how much money they're going to set aside for this, they're not saying how many guns they expect to take off the streets. The persistent message from the mayor and police officials is any gun taken off the street is a good thing in terms of public safety for the people of Toronto. If it's law-abiding citizens that turn these guns in and they otherwise might have been sitting around or in some place where they were vulnerable to being taken up by bad guys and used in the commission of a crime, uh, then I'm in favour of taking them off the streets.